Toyota's garage is currently working on a new project. Furthermore, it's not just any old car. We're discussing a brand new, groundbreaking hydrogen vehicle. You may have heard about the Toyota Mirai, a hydrogen powered car that generates electricity using fuel cells. However, Toyota has now developed a completely new idea. The new hydrogen combustion engine is what it is known as. The automotive sector may experience a revolution because to this technology, Toyota is following a different path than other automakers who have switched to all electric vehicles. But being better is more important than simply being different. So let's get started. We'll discuss the new hydrogen combustion engine from Toyota, how it functions, and what it implies for the sector. We are all aware of the planet's current predicament, and according to Global Citizen, org, the transport sector is to blame for a staggering 15 of global carbon emissions. It's also no secret that conventional internal combustion engines have contributed significantly to the pollution issue. While electric cars are undoubtedly becoming more and more popular, some could argue that they aren't the only solution. Enter the hydrogen combustion engine, Toyota's newest branch in its diverse approach to carbon neutrality. The most prevalent element in the cosmos, hydrogen also boasts the highest non-nuclear energy source specific energy density. It may be produced from a variety of sources, stored indefinitely, and shipped reasonably inexpensively. It is also exhaust-free and non-toxic every year. Millions of tonnes of hydrogen are created and used safely as a power source for trains, electric automobiles, forklifts, buildings, and other mechanical devices. What is the situation with hydrogen engines then? They don't need to be recharged like electric automobiles, and they have a larger range. Water is the only byproduct that exits the exhaust pipe. Yes, there are no harmful pollutants. You may now be curious as to how everything operates. Each and every hydrogen engine makes use of a fuel cell to turn hydrogen into power. Did you know that Toyota started reducing the number of fossil fuel-powered automobiles back in 1997 when it first introduced the Prius? It's like magic, but with science. They have been environmentally conscious for some time. They are not the only ones, though. Automakers from around the world are attempting to develop green vehicles using hydrogen, solar, and electrical energy. Not only does it involve preserving the environment, but it also involves ensuring energy security, enhancing air quality, and reducing environmental damage. And hydrogen is efficient and affordable to distribute after it is produced. The majority of modern hydrogen refueling stations produce hydrogen on site using electrolysis and only excess energy from renewable sources. The best thing though, these containerized stations simply need power and water to function. Green tariffs or at certain stations on site solar or wind generation are used to supply the energy. Toyota currently claims to have developed a new method of using hydrogen's power. The Corolla Cross 82 idea, a brand new prototype vehicle with a hydrogen combustion engine, was recently displayed by their technical team. Toyota is developing a brand new vehicle with a hydrogen combustion engine that is distinct from the fuel cell technology that powers its Toyota Mirai, the company's most recent hydrogen-powered vehicle. The idea of using hydrogen to fuel an internal combustion engine is not new. German automaker BMW was one of the forerunners in the industry, launching the 750L in 2002 and the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. Based on a conventional 6.0-litre V12 engine, BMW's Hydrogen 7 was modified to burn hydrogen as well as petrol. As petrol, it has a dual fuel system. Additionally, to add even more coolness, only 100 of these bad boys were ever made. But some of its worst drawbacks were present. First of all, you might want to pause before burning a match anywhere near your hydrogen-powered car because it is incredibly flammable. It's also challenging to store and process, which can be a hassle. Not to be overlooked is nitrous oxide, which is released during combustion. Even while it might not be as harmful as carbon monoxide, the EPA nevertheless classifies it as a pollutant. Toyota can help in this situation. Toyota is of the opinion that there is currently no one size fits all approach to lowering vehicle emissions or satisfying customer transportation demands. Getting the correct vehicle to the right location at the right time is everything. In order to address short-term, medium-term, and long-term needs globally, investments must be made in all areas. And that's where hydrogen enters the picture, playing a crucial role in Toyota's Beyond Zero initiative, and they intend to use their 8-2 to accomplish it. 
Perhaps you're wondering, what is Hatu? It's just Toyota's fancy word for internal combustion engines that run on hydrogen, and it appears to be the direction of car technology. Then, how does this operate? A 1.6-liter turbocharged 3-cylinder engine powers the GR Corolla 82, but with a unique twist, hydrogen instead of petrol. Toyota, which borrowed this technology from its FCV, the Mirai, employs strong armored fuel tanks to hold the highly combustible hydrogen, and the car can travel up to 300 miles on just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, emitting only 50 liters of water in the process. Discuss environmentally friendly practices. Let's now discuss about power. Toyota and Yamaha Motor have also collaborated to develop a V8 engine that runs on hydrogen. Yes, a hydrogen-powered V8 engine that generates 455 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque. The true showstopper, though, in addition to having an 8 into 1 top-mounted exhaust manifold that produces a distinctive high-frequency sound, hydrogen-powered cars also have a longer range and refill faster than electric cars. On my 90 seconds for the Jaya Rise 2. Additionally, it lessens the need for materials with limited supplies like nickel and lithium, which are used in EV battery packs. The GR Corolla H2 is thus something to keep an eye on whether you're a gearhead or just admire cutting. Edge technology. It won't be long until we start seeing these vehicles on the roads, because real, world testing has already begun. When that happens, Disregard everything you've learned about electric vehicles because the Toyota hydrogen combustion engine has many benefits over them. One of the main advantages is that it has a longer range and refueling happens as quickly as a drag race. This technology is now advantageous for drivers and environmentally benign. You see, the lithium and nickel that are necessary for the production of EV batteries are not needed by the Toyota hydrogen engine nearly as much. It also has a battery. However, it is much smaller than the battery in an electric vehicle. In northern Japan, the Corolla Cross H2 concept car is currently being evaluated in the real world and tested in winter driving conditions. With such high hopes for hydrogen, the Japanese government also plans to put 200,000 fuel cell-powered cars on the road by 2025 and 800,000 by 2030, with more recharging stations being built all throughout the nation. Let's now discuss the sound. In addition to sounding amazing, the exhaust bark is identical to that of a tuned gasoline-powered vehicle. And because Toyota's cutting-edge hydrogen engine doesn't burn fossil fuel, it produces almost no carbon dioxide. Yes, it does emit some harmful gases, but a lot less than a car that runs on only petrol. You could question, but what about safety? Toyotas also have that covered. Stronger connecting rods, tougher valves and valve seats, and gas powered fuel injectors have all been added. You can therefore drive with confidence, knowing that safety is of the utmost importance. Let's now get down to business. What advantages does this new technology offer? Let's start with the primary problem with electric vehicles, charging. Although we have all heard the horror stories, hydrogen makes it unnecessary. Hydrogen fills up in 90 seconds, just like an ICE automobile. And while there aren't many outlets currently selling it, they often work well with conventional petrol stations. Additionally, the GR Yaris 82 is even more environmentally friendly thanks to its small battery, which uses fewer raw materials like lithium or nickel. 